Welcome to another episode of The Power of Color. And today, we're going to talk about Agent J, the man who bought swag to the universe. As a member of the Men in Black, Agent J changed the game. But you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the beginning. As a beat cop in New York, Agent J, or as we knew him back then as James, was chasing down all the criminals and the drug dealers, putting them away, making sure the streets of New York were safe for everybody. Then along came an off-the-grid white man to offer him a job that he couldn't refuse, apparently. For you see, Agent K saw something in James. He knew that he was the perfect candidate to replace him. And all the tests prove it. It takes the skill and intelligence to know to shoot down the lone white girl in the street surrounded by aliens just minding their own business trying to live their life. May I ask why you felt little Tiffany deserved to die? I'm thinking, you know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, bunch of monsters, this time of night with quantum physics books. She about to start some shit, Zed. She's about eight years old. Those books are way too advanced for her. I mean, why was she even in their neighborhood? But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Without his keen analytical skills, they wouldn't have been able to find the galaxy around Orion's belt, thus preventing us from certain doom from an alien attack. That's right. Agent J put his foot up Benson D'Onofrio's ass so hard, he became the kingpin. To further add to his list of achievements, he carried two mediocre-ass movies to box office success. If there's one thing that Agent J taught us, is that the good guys dress in black. Remember that. And the good guys are black. That's going to do it for this episode of The Power of Color. Be sure to tune in next time where we have a different hero every day from your favorite sci-fi, fantasy, films, or television shows.